Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make this WWE wrestling cake. Now this is a championship belt wrestling cake, and this was a request by quite a few different people, so thank you so much for that request. I really appreciate that. And if you're interested in making this, keep watching, and I'll show you step by step how to make this. Now the first thing I'm going to do is start off with a large bowl, and I have one cup of sugar. I have one third a cup of softened butter that's just softened at room temperature. We just want to mix this up until it's well combined. Now we just want to add two eggs, one egg at a time, and blend it in. Next I have one and a half cups of flour, this is all purpose flour, and I have two tablespoons of baking powder, which I'm going to put in there. And also you're going to want about a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to mix this through really good. Once it's been mixed in good, we're just going to dump about half of it into our batter. And mix through. When that's mixed in, I have one cup of whole milk. I'm only going to put about half of it in right now. And mix in. Then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then the rest of our flour. And the rest of our milk. Now we can take some butter and we're going to line our pan with some butter. I'm going to smear some on here. Now we're just going to take some flour and we'll put a little bit in the dish. Then you can just shake it around and get it covered really good. And whatever excess, put it back into your flour. Now we're just going to line this with our batter. And spread it evenly. And we just want to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. When your cake's done baking, just take it out of the oven and let it cool. Now that my cake is all cooled down, it's nice and cool to the touch, I'm going to put it out to a serving dish and then we're going to cut it up. So I'm just going to take this. It's a good idea to go along the edges and just make sure it's all separated from the side. And just simply flip this over. Hopefully it'll come out. There we go. Now I've printed up this little guide for me and this is going to show me where I need to cut for my belt. You can just print it up online, just search WWE belt and you'll find a belt. Just print it up really big, the size you want. And I'm just going to lay it right about here so I don't have to cut the side here because it's already pretty even there. And you just want to hold your knife upright and you can do it in sections. And we don't want to throw this away because it's a perfectly good cake. We can make some cake pops with this or something else. Now just take this, set this aside. We're going to cut our other piece in a minute. Now with our other cake, we're just going to flip this over the same way we did the other one. And for this, I have this piece, but we're going to have to cut two of these pieces out, one for each side. Okay, this is what our rough cut looks like. Now I have a pack of fondant. This is black fondant. Normally I make my own fondant, but when it comes to black, it's hard to get that real dark color. So I bought this store-bought. You can get it at any craft store. Just knead it a bit until it softens up enough. And then you can just roll it out. We want to get it nice and thin. Now what I'm gonna do is put a rough coat all over my cake. First I'm gonna join the ends. And then I'm just gonna cover the whole thing 
with some frosting. This is just regular old white frosting, buttercream frosting. And once you have your rough coat, we're just going to roll out our fondant onto over the cake. Now I knew it wasn't gonna cover the whole thing. If you have a bigger piece, you can use that, but I just have to work with what I gotta work with and then I'll use some more on the end. And you can just use a pizza cutter, but if you have one of the tools that cuts fondant, you can use that instead. And I'm just gonna go along and cut along the base. Now I have enough fondant to roll out after I cut off the excess, and I'm just gonna lay that over top of the end here. Now what I've done is heated up some yellow candy melts and just put them in the microwave, heat it up, and I put it into this piping bag. And carefully I'm just going to trace over my printout and I have some wax paper on there and I've also taped down the ends of the wax paper so it doesn't move. And I'm going to try to trace this out. And we'll just let that dry up. We'll do the other one in a few minutes. Now I'm gonna use the red candy melts and color in the red parts. Now I've tried decorating this cake a couple different ways. I've tried it with frosting, I've tried it with um, going over a mold, and it did work for the sides. But for the big part, it didn't work out too good. So what I'm gonna do is actually melt my chocolate and put it on here directly. It's gonna be freehand, hopefully it works out good. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this WWE wrestling cake. And I really had a good time making this. It was a lot of work, but I'm not an artist. I did the best I could. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked this video, please hit that like button. Also, please share it with a friend or family member if you enjoyed it. I'm sure they would enjoy it as well, right? So thanks again to everyone who requested this. And check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I think you may enjoy those as well. And until then, I'll see you next week.